So in the previous lesson, we already met the user details interface. And in this lesson, I would like to show you how to implement custom user details service. But before we do that, let's take a second to figure out what exactly user details and user details service is. Well, the user details represents the core user information. So in our case, we will use the default implementation called user which holds the default information such as username, password, and the collection of granted authorities, right? The user detail service, on the other hand, is nothing else than an interface used to load user-specific data. It is used by Spring Security to interact with our data source and validate users during authentication. With that said, let's add a new class, custom user detail service, and let's see that in action. So let's open up service, right mouse button, new, Kotlin class and call it custom user details service. Custom user details service. Following, again, let's mark that with service annotation. Service annotation. And right here, I would like to inject the user repository. So private val user repository, the one that we implemented a bunch of videos ago. The first thing that this class must do is simply implement the user details service. So user details service from Spring Security, control plus E. And as we can see, this interface requires us to overwrite only one function called load user by username. And that's why we will need our user repository because we'll be simply trying to find the user by email or the username, right? Before I delete this block, Let's firstly make that non-nullable. We'll invoke that only with non-nullable values. Equals user repository. Find by email. And let's pass our username. Again, username and emails in our system will be exactly the same thing. The next thing I would like to do will be to map to user details. So I will invoke the extension function. This is nullable dot map to user details. And now before we start implementing our extension function, let's use type alias. I would like to add the type alias application user because we'll be using both the user from our model package, which is named user, and the user class from uh, Spring Security. So that's why I would like to use this call Kotlin feature here. Type alias application user and I would like this one to refer to com coders JWT tokens model user. So whenever you will be using application user, you will be meaning this class. So basically this feature allows us to use this name instead of injecting every time the fully specified username to avoid clashes. So private fun application user and map to user details. This function will return user details, which is not a big surprise. And as I mentioned, I would like to use the user class, user. And this time I would like to use the class from Spring Security. That's really important. Let's start the builder. So what we would like to do here will be to specify the username, the password, and the user roles. So first let's type by username and we'll pass this email, right? The username and email as is exactly the same in our system. The password will be the password, this password. And the last thing, roles, this role. However, it requires us to pass the string value. So we'll simply use the enum name. And lastly, sorry, build. Control plus alt L. We can see that this still does not want to compile. Why? Because it will return user details in a nullable form. So what I would like to do here will be throw the exception. Otherwise, throw username not found exception not found excellent. So this time we either throw the exception or we map the font user to user details. And that's all for this video in which we saw how to implement our custom user detail service. In the next one, we'll update configuration so that we make Spring Framework aware of our custom user detail service and a bunch of other things. See you in the next one.